What's up, guys? It's Wednesday. Guess what today is? It's Christmas in July, right? I got my little Christmas tree here. We had a little bit of fun on Prime Day. That's what this big pile of boxes in here. We're going to do a Prime Day Christmas in July haul. So welcome to Amy Learns to Cook Kitchen. Let's roll the Christmas intro. Christmas intro. Every time we get to bring it out in December, everybody's like, yay! Because I know it's Christmas time, right? So I figure since it's Christmas in July, plus I've been watching so many Christmas movies that I kind of feel like it is Christmas time. Like it's a foot of snow out there. Yeah, I started walking outside thinking it's going to be cold outside, but it was hot, right? It is July, but I had, I'm, I'm trying to have a lot of fun with Christmas in July. What the heck, right? We might as well. So cheers, everyone. It's Christmas in July. This could be like a Christmas movie. You gotta figure who the hot chick is, who the hot man is, and what cause they're gonna save. In this case, what boxes are we gonna- Yeah! My boo's the hot man, right? Ooh. So, <laughs> I set up my little Christmas tree here. I love this. I remember these from the 70s. We used to have these Christmas trees. They were usually always green or pink then, but now they have these in all kinds of different colors. I got this at a local craft store a few years ago, and I love this thing. It reminds me of growing up in the 70s. Christmas in the 70s, right? So, you think I went crazy on Prime Day? I did a little bit. I didn't spend a huge amount of money because I got some really good deals. <laughs> I did spend too much. <laughs> anyway, right? So um, let me move this tree to the back there. With We got the two commercial eights, one there and one there, that are watching us for Christmas in July. So let me put the tree back there, and let's start opening presents. Yeah. So Eric's making fun of me about, oh, you spend a lot of money for Christmas in July. I didn't really actually spend that much. Um, if I sort of add all this up in my head, I may have spent maybe 260 I could have bought a tire for that. <laughs> so Christmas in July, number one, the classic Cuisinart waffle maker. So I already have a waffle maker, but it's this big, huge KitchenAid Pro line, and I don't use it that much because it's such a hassle to get the thing out. It's heavy. I have trouble cleaning it. I have trouble. It is literally, what, about 30 pounds, maybe? Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. So I got this. It's a classic waffle maker. It's not um, Belgian. I kind of wanted this because me and Eric went to the Waffle House. <laughs> and this makes the uh, flatter kind of waffles like the Waffle House. Are the plates removable or not? No. But it's a little small, so you can, uh, I don't think you're supposed to be, like, putting these under the water, but well, not immersing. the other one we did a little bit. You're not going to give it a bath. No, but we did a soapy, soapy, rinsey, rinsey. <laughs> yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's not a Belgian. It's like a... It's like a um, Waffle House style. I don't know, since I have the other one that's Belgian, maybe I can justify this one by saying I wanted a flatter kind of waffle. Um, so I got this one. So it's easier to just maybe washy washy. <laughs> right? I think I only paid 20 some dollars for it. So I guess if I ruin it, it wouldn't be the end of the world, right? Okay. Christmas in July, number two. Now, every year, Christmas in July and Black Friday has to include something from 
my favorite bakeware company, but because they always run really great sales during that time. So these quarter sheet pans, I use almost every day we use these things, right, boo? I use them for everything, not just like going in a toaster oven because I don't really have a toaster oven out on my counter. I throw these in the oven and I use them for everything. We make toasted sandwiches on them. We might uh, bake a little potato on it. We well, like french fries, well, you right? Put, you put a rack on it, did you check? Yeah, I have a rack on them. I think I have a rack that goes on this side. So these are the quarter pans. I think these were like $20 for a set of two. <laughs> Well, since we haven't gone to a factory sale in a long time. Yeah, boo. Wink, wink, wink. Wink. I figured, you know, get some USA pants. Wow, these are, these are amazing. If you don't have anything from USA Pan, check them out because I love their product. So, yeah, don't put Barkeeper's Friend on here because these are silicone. They have like a silicone coating on it. I'm telling you, nothing sticks on it. Use parchment paper, they'll look beautiful, right? Technically, you're not supposed to wash them in the dishwasher, but... <laughs> <laughs> Christmas in July! That's two and three. Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Christmas in July. Is also for me. <laughs> I always get every year. It seems like I buy more sheet pens. I can never have enough of these things because I use them like crazy. Now that we have double ovens, we'll have four of these things out. Uh, four, six. You could put two. You could put three in each oven, right? <laughs> so we could do a whole rack of cookies. Three. Three at a time in these things. So every year I get these. These were literally $16. So I couldn't pass that up. Okay, so my next one. I am trying to convince Eric that I didn't spend that much. <laughs> this was $14. It was marked down from $26. Oh my God. See? We can go to the Bahamas. Yeah. Those. Savings, savings all over the place, right? Oh, my gosh. I love the color. Yeah, I bought this because of the color. Yeah, it'll be at the dollar store next week. So this is the KitchenAid mixing bowl set in pistachio. I posted this in the Facebook group when it went, when it was on. Oh, my gosh. Look at the color. Oh, I love this. I posted this in the Facebook group. In the Facebook group, every time I saw a deal, I was posting it. <laughs> oh, okay. They have like a little texture on the inside. So these are the KitchenAid mixing bowl set in this beautiful pistachio. Oh my gosh, I love this. So these aren't as heavy as heavy feeling as a William Sonoma, but it also is cheaper. So, the, and I love the color, so I love them. Ah -ha! And they have this little grippy on the bottom. So when you're mixing, do they move around? <laughs> Eric's shaking his head at me. I like these. I actually really like them. I'm just waiting. If this is Christmas, when, when do I find my present? Your present is in all this. You get to eat the stuff. I feel so lucky. <laughs> okay, so you know the queen of the stand mixer is going to get a stand mixer Christmas in July, right? Why not? Is there a mixer left out there that I don't have? Yeah, there is. This one is the GE Mixer. Now it's been sitting on Amazon for a while. I think it came out at $2.99 originally. GE then came out, this is the five quart. GE then came out with this smart mixer, seven quart I think, that's like a thousand dollars. 
and everybody's been asking me first they were asking me can we look at this one then they were asking me can we look at the smart mixer i think i don't think the smart mixer is on the table <laughs> other than that um it was marked down to 149 on prime day there was a 20 dollar coupon so it was 129 so if i say okay i'm not gonna buy anything on um Christmas in July, like that's over a certain dollar amount. What color did I get? I think I got the silver one. I, I have this like a I don't know. Do the unboxing. <laughs> silver. They have like a silver color and a blue color. I got the silver. The universal <laughs> silver. Bum, bum, ba, ba. So this mixer really reminds me of the, the Breville. That's what it kind of looks like, the Breville. Um, so many people have asked me to do a little review on this one. And I knew it wasn't just a matter of time until I did that. So this is the GE getting into the mixer uh, arena. Well, Pampered Chef did, why shouldn't they, right? Yeah, right. 350 watts, 5.3 quarts, seven speeds. So did GE come good or did they come average? I don't know, right? I've never used their mixer before. We're going to find that out. Uh, we have some goodies here. We have, wow, that is... Coded? No, but it's really kind of lightweight. Well, it's lightweight, it's probably aluminum. I don't know. Is it aluminum? Wow. But you don't think it's coated? Okay, so I pulled the manual, and it says that the whisk is dishwasher safe, but the beater and the dough hook isn't. You know, someone told me one time, they were like, we can tell when you aren't all that thrilled with something because I get like this look on my face. Um, I don't know. It's a three dollar mixer. I think that face just came out. Well, it's a three dollar mixer, and they're using aluminum. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's aluminum. It's lightweight. I don't know. It, it totally doesn't feel. It's, it's like coated with something. It's, it's machined nicely. They got something on there. Okay. Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, there's something here. Okay. Ooh. Where's your whip at? It must be in there. So here is a pouring shield, and it is a C. I'm assuming this will go on there. Just like that. You guys ready? It's Christmas in July. It's Christmas in July. Hey, Ben. Hey, Ben. It's Christmas in July. Hey. It's Christmas in July! Hey. <laughs> you didn't sound too excited about that, boo. I'm just wondering if I gotta leave milk and cookies out for Santa in July or not. <laughs> yes! <laughs> or is that gonna keep the Amazon guy away? <laughs> 
so here's the whisk. Yeah. And yeah, I, it is probably dishwasher safe because it's plastic on the top. Sure. Here is this bowl. It's got a handle. It has a hub. It's square, so it could be KitchenAid. So we won't know until we do our full test review, yeah. will we? Okay, Eric was so nice to plug it in for me, just so we can get our first. So, one thing I am noticing is it is like a really heavy presence to it. So we're going to do a full review on this one. Okay, so this is our final present for my, Christmas. My so bank what? account says thank you. Yay! Hey. No, you know what? Eric just said he doesn't know what to get me for Christmas because I just buy my own stuff. He's the same way. When he wants a toy, he just goes buy it. So what do you get someone for Christmas? Yeah, the dust just flew in my face. And then he'll say, you know, you know, why are you getting that? And I'll say, I got my own job, right? <laughs> That's the problem. Can't do anything about it, right? Mm -hmm. You're stuck. He married into this. <laughs> you were a law student. He was, you didn't I was tell a, me you're a prospective kitchen. <laughs> I think this was 119. Here's the back of it. Can you tell what it is? Well, there's a picture of an appliance. If you can squint your eyes small enough. It is the Instant Pot. The Chowman! Yeah, right? Electric Dutch oven. So, these were, I wanted this for Christmas like last year. And I think I, I told Eric, Eric was like, what did you want for Christmas? And I said, oh, I know, I, what, everything I want, I just put into my Amazon cart, right? I bought her like four of the five things. I this guess, was, this was the one I didn't get. I'm not young anymore, so I get to have as much fun as I want to, right? <laughs> Spring chicken! <laughs> so here's some guides. I like their guides because they give you like uh, really nice booklets with recipes and everything in that. I really wish everybody would do that. Um, here's your get started guide. Sometimes they give you like these little flimsy, flimsy old things with nothing in them. Whoa! Yeah, those are nice. These are really nice. Yeah. Wow. They actually work. These are really cool. Oh my, I need some new one of these. And these are heavy duty. Wow, that might be worth the cost of the whole thing, right? Not quite. <laughs> these two. Yeah, they got Instant Pot. You really came with it. These are really nice. Well, if you're going to do some stir fry, you need some help. Yeah. These are amazing. I wish they would sell these just by themselves. Every time you get these kind of things with things, they're a lot of times just like throwaway kind well, of stuff. What, Those are what, nice. What, the rice paddles? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, <laughs> how many rice paddles I have. Uh, and those little things from the machines. <laughs> well, the pressure cookers, you always get one of those. Whoa, okay. Put a little chicky over here. Whoa. Yeah, it is definitely cast iron. Whoa, this is a quality piece. I'm gonna give it to them. 
it's a quality piece. Um, I'm kind of glad I got this. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, okay, little silicone things for the side of this. We got this with little silicone things. A little hot pad for this to go when you're taking it out. This is really nice. This is this is pretty nice instant pot. You really can with this. So it comes in like black, blue. I think it came in green, but that one's kind of hard to get. And this red, I got the red to match the mixer back there, right? <laughs> and here's the cooker. Whoa! Whoa! This is pretty nice. Um, I think we're going to do chicken and artichokes. So sh chicken shallots and artichoke hearts. I think that's the first thing I'm going to cook in this. Um, stay tuned. Wow, this is, I'm amazed at this. This is pretty nice. This is pretty nice. So, cooks, I hope you had fun with my little Christmas in July. Christmas is going to be right around the corner, so, um, yeah, you certain, know, we uh, got to prepare for it. Yeah, a certain channel that's got their little Christmas, they're going to, uh, what, ramp up in October? Dude? Yeah, October. That's, that's, that's like, that's like no, but I did discover another, like, free place to get Christmas movies. They got like a thousand movies. To be, right? So after Christmas in July ends on the one channel, right? We still have an opportunity to get some more Christmas in July. Year round Christmas. On Tubi. Yep. So cooks, uh, stay tuned. We're going to give these a try. I'm going to cook some chicken in this. We're going to try out that GE mixer. What do you think about that GE mixer? Should I RMA it now? Or should we review it? The mixer is really like substantial. Those uh, those attachments are just not. So tell me what you think in the comments. Should we go ahead? Should I do a full test and review? So as soon as I do that, right, that makes that mixer uh, official member of the Amy Learns to Cook Kitchen? Or should I RMA it? What do you think? Maybe I'll just put a poll up in the Facebook group. Otherwise, just let me know what you think down in the description. You guys um, think Amy's going to wake up with the uh, Amazon shipping label under her pillow in the morning? <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't know. I, I need to give it a chance. The mixer, the mixer in of itself is nice and substantial, but the paddle just isn't. So... Um, I was hoping it would say "Made in America." I was hoping. No, G it's not I was say hoping that. GE would buck the trend. They're not gonna do kind that. Kind of like right? Craftsman is trying to buck the trend. <laughs> Guess what? Like, no. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. And until um, next time, happy Wednesday. Okay, so Christmas in July, number one. Classic Cuisinart ice cream. Ice cream? That makes waffles? <laughs>